Hello students. Today we are going to study and implement the VI characteristics of diode. So what is diode? A diode is a device which flows current only in one direction. When the anode, this is anode and this is cathode. When anode is connected to the positive supply of the voltage and cathode is connected to the negative supply of the voltage, then the diode is in forward bias. And today in this practical, we will be implementing the forward bias and the reverse bias as well. And we will be observing the, observing the readings of the forward bias and the reverse bias. So the circuit diagram is like this. This is voltage source which is variable. We will be varying it from 0 to 5 volt. We are taking a series resistance of 560 ohm. And this is a milli ammeter which is in the range of 0 to 50 milli ampere. And this is used to measure the current through the circuit. And we will also measure the voltage across this diode in multimeter. So what observation we are going to take is we will be varying the voltage source with a, uh, from 0 to 5 volt. We will be varying it somewhat like this. Let's say 0, 0 and the step size will be 0, 2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 till 1 volt we will be varying this much step size. Then after 1 volt we will be varying the step size to let's say 1.5 and so on till 5 volt. So the observation readings we will be taking are forward voltage across the diode that will be from the multimeter and forward current through the diode that is from the milli ammeter. Okay. Now the uh, noticeable point like why we are doing this, why the VI characteristics are, we will be observing that at 0.6 voltage we are getting somewhat current through the diode. So let's see this thing in practical. Okay, now we will introduce the components according to our circuit. As I said, there is a variable voltage source. As you can see, this is a DC regulated power supply. In this you can see, this is for 0 to 5 volt, varying the voltage between 0 to 5. As you can see, this is the selection for the different type of voltages. This is for 0 to 5 volt, this is 0 to 30 volt and this is for 0 to plus or minus 15 volt. So according to our applications, we can change this selection. Now we are required with only 0 to 5 volt. So I have selected for 0 to 5 volt knob. Now we are having a resistor in our circuit as you can see this is the resistor and then we are having a milli ammeter milli ammeter looks something like this and these are the connections which we need to take out from here this is diode see as i said the current flows in diode in only one direction and it has anode and cathode polarities. So how to identify it? As you can see there is a silver strip so there is a silver strip as you can see this is cathode and the remaining one is anode. Once again I am saying the silver strip represents the cathode part and this is anode. Okay. Now, these are the connecting wires and this is multimeter. See, in multimeter, there are so many selections, but now we are only required with the voltage. But let me explain briefly. As you can see, this is voltage V and this is a dash. Dash indicates the DC measurements. For DC measurements, we are using this side. And for AC, you can see if we want to measure any AC circuitry, okay, 
or AC readings we want to take, we can use this side. But today we are only required with voltage of that to DC one. So we will select this set. Put it to 20 volt. Okay. Now, where we will connect these many components. See, we are not going to connect it on a circuit board and uh, we will solder it, right? There may be errors. What if we are not getting any output once we had soldered it, okay? So, there is a component called breadboard. As you can see, this breadboard is nothing but we can make quick connections of the components just to testify the circuit before soldering it. Okay, as you can see, this breadboard is having so many sockets and group of sockets having an electrical connection between them. Now, I will tell what are these sockets and what are these sections all about. Okay, these are, there are totally four sections. The first section and the last section, the connections are horizontally connected. Okay, till five blocks. And after five blocks, there are a horizontal connection. Okay, I'll show you how it is. As you can see, as I said, the first and the last section is having horizontal connection. As you can see, till five blocks only. It is not totally connected. Okay, there is a breakage. Okay, now the second and third section is having vertical connections. Okay. You can see the vertical connections. Okay, done. Now we will implement our circuit. Okay. So first is voltage source. And we are required with 0 to 5 volt. So what we will do? See how, the, how to make the wires connected to it. As you can see, we need to put this wire there is a hole you can see. You need to put it there and twist the knob. Same way you need to do it for the other polarity. Okay, and we will also take out connections for this as well. For this, you need to twist the wire. Okay, you need to twist the wire. There are no uh, sockets in that to put it the wire. And twist this thing. For this as well, we need to twist it. Twist the wire. And we need to lock the knob. Okay, now according to our circuit, we will make the connections. Okay, so we will see the circuit diagram once again. As you can see, this is our supply. This is positive and this is negative. So positive wire of the supply is going to one end of the resistor. Okay, we will make this connection first. This is my positive supply, okay, I am taking it out and putting it somewhere here. Okay, and what I need to do, I need to connect one end of the resistor to it, right? So this is one end. See resistor doesn't have any polarity. So you can take any, any side. So I am putting it as you can see. Okay. One, one end of the resistor is I haven't connected yet. Okay. Now we will see in our circuit. The other end of the resistor is going to milliameter positive polarity. Okay. So what we will do. Let's put this other end at in other socket. See, as I said, they are internally connected in vertical. Okay. So that means these two are connected. And there is no connection in between here. 
as i said these are vertically connected there is no connection between the parallel lines okay so we are safe to go now you can see this is the positive one okay this is emitter positive one i have connected it as you can see both are connected because it is vertically connected okay now the negative end of the emitter is going to anode of the diode right and cathode is going to the negative of the supply okay we are clear with this thing so we will do that so the negative end we will connect somewhere else okay we don't need to connect it here because this will be totally short like positive is also short negative is also connected and the resistor is connected so it will look somewhat like this like you are connecting this end here and this end is also here so this is like a loop this is like short so this will not work so we are putting negative end at here now we will take the diode diode c diode anode is connected to negative of the emitter and cathode put it somewhere here okay because it should not be connected to any of the component now you can see this is my negative supply i am putting it to cathode of the diode so my circuit is complete yes we are left with the multimeter part so as i said multimeter we will be connecting across the diode so my diode is here okay so i'll taking out two connecting wires from there and here now what will i do i'll take this anode connecting wire to the positive of the multimeter and negative of the diode to the negative of the multimeter okay okay now our connection is done we need to take the observation readings so let's start this knob is to vary the voltage okay as you can see there is change in the current so our diode is working properly now we will take the readings and we will observe at what voltage our diode is acting let's start taking the readings this is my observation table the parameters are v input that is voltage source id that is current through the circuit which is in milliampere and this is vd which is voltage across the diode which is in volts i'll be varying the v input at point 13 i'm getting some voltage that is point 12 but in the a meter there is no deflection so my current is zero now i'll be increasing the voltage input voltage to 0.25 there is still no deflection in the a meter so my current is zero but the voltage across the diode is 0.24 at 0.25 still no deflection so current zero but voltage across the diode is 0.37 upon increasing to 0.47 i am getting current zero the voltage across the diode is 0.43 at 0.57 no deflection in the emitter so zero current but the voltage across the diode is 0.47 at point 69 still no deflection in the emitter so current is zero but the voltage is 0.43 
point five two across the diode. Point seven four, there is a minor deflection at point seven five. There is a minor deflection in the ammeter, which is around point one milli ampere, and the voltage across the diode is point five three. At point eight six. I have a deflection larger than 0.75 voltage, which is around 0.5 milli ampere, and the voltage across the diode is 0.55. At 0.94, I am getting almost 1 milli ampere, but I'll be writing 0.8 milli ampere, and the voltage is 0.56 across the diode. At 1 volt, I am getting 0.9 milli ampere and the voltage is 0.57. At 1.2 volt, I am getting exactly 1 milli ampere current and uh, the voltage across the diode is 0.59. Upon taking the readings, our observation table will look something like this. As you can see, the voltage across the diode is not increasing according to the our input source. But you can see the current is increasing after 0.69. After 0.69 voltage, my current through diode is increasing. Okay, And after that, you can see there is not much change in the voltage across the diode. As you can see. So, after plotting the VD versus ID, we will get a graph something like this. So, you can see this is the VI characteristics of the P and diode. This is in the forward bias, we are getting the VI characteristics something like this. After 0.5, I am getting a, volt, a current through the diode. Okay, but the voltage across the diode is not changing much, but the current through the diode is increasing as I am increasing the voltage. From this practical, we can conclude that at 0.75 voltage, I am getting the current of 0.1 milli ampere through the diode. So, we can say that the knee voltage or the threshold voltage of P and diode is 0.75.